Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the air gap in your PTO clutch on your John Deere tractor. I'm doing this on a John Deere 318. This video is going to apply to those as well as the 316 and a lot of the other John Deere 300 series tractors like the 312, 314 and even some of the 200 series tractors, that, the later ones that had the electric PTO clutches. Basically if the clutch looks like the one I'm going to put on the screen right now, this will probably work for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so you're gonna need a feeler gauge for this. In my case, for the 318 here, it's gonna be an 18 thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. Um, and that'll be pretty much the same thing for all the other models that I previously mentioned. To be sure, you should do some of your own research to make sure what the specification is for your model. You're also gonna need a wrench for the uh, three different adjustment points that are on the clutch. Um, I think it's 9 sixteenths of an inch for this one here. Um, it might be a little bit different for yours. I also recommend doing this with the engine cool as the muffler, as you can see, is right above the PTO clutch and it'll be pretty much the same for any model. All right, this is a pretty simple adjustment. Um, there are three different slots on the clutch here. I'll put a picture on the screen with some arrows to show you exactly where they are. Um, they're right here, here, and here. And what you need to do is you put your feeler gauge in there, um, slide it down in there, and you need to make sure that that gap is the 18 thousandths of an inch or whatever your particular model is. Um, to change that gap, you use your wrench or socket in my case here, um, and you adjust these bolts as needed to open or close that gap. And something to keep in mind is that you might adjust one of these slots and then you go to another slot and make an adjustment. You're going to have to actually go back to the ones you previously did and check them again. And the reason for that is the movement on one slot might cause a little bit of movement on the other one. So you might find yourself going over the different slots, you know, multiple times, maybe three or four times before you're actually at the point where all three of them are exactly the same. So again, like I said, you'll go up here and go in one in the slot and put your feeler gauge in there. And what you want is a slight amount of drag. Um, you don't want it to be too hard to put it in there and you don't want a lot of slop whenever you move the feeler gauge back and forth. And that's pretty much all there is for it. Um, I recommend doing this, you know, at least at the beginning of every season to make sure that this gap is correct. Um, it'll ensure that your PTO clutch has a long life. It can also help alleviate some of the problems you might see with these clutches, such as not wanting to engage or disengage. Um, so like I said, I recommend doing this fairly regularly just as a check to make sure that your gap is adjusted correctly. All right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done that. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.